Yeah, Sarah, thanks so much. We're joined by John Polis uh, of Dominion Voting Systems right now. And John, thank you very much uh, for joining us here on CNBC. This is a massive lawsuit. It's a massive document that you filed in court the other day. I was just reading through the entire complaint. Uh, and the question here is, what are you trying to achieve with this? Is this about just getting these comments and conspiracy theories to go away? Or are you trying to make some kind of larger point with this lawsuit, John? Uh, thanks, Eamon. Uh, the larger point really is to get the facts on the table in front of a court of law where evidence is properly judged. Uh, in this particular case, we have Mr. Lindell, who advertised absolute truth, and all he produced was absolute nonsense. And like others, uh, he touted so-called evidence, uh, yet he produces fake documents. And just like others, uh, they refuse to take these claims to court where evidence is properly weighed by a judge. So $1.3 billion is a whole lot of money. How did you come up with that figure? It's a preliminary estimate, and it's difficult to put the uh, hard number to it. The reputational damage alone has been devastating to us. Uh, the, we, are, we are seeing untold uh, damage unfolding every day uh, with our customers and the effects that they are having uh, with a lot of constituents who unfortunately watch these videos and, and watch the repeated attacks and disinformation. And you can, they can be forgiven for believing them. They are presented uh, as fact. Uh, they tout evidence, although they don't actually produce any evidence and they're unwilling to bring it into court. And that is a serious problem, not just for Dominion, but for the entire electoral system. So do you want to put my pillow out of business here? Is that the end game? No, that's not the end game. And, and certainly th there's no secret end game to limit anyone's First, first Amendment right to free speech. We strongly believe in that. And frankly, uh, we intend to rely on free speech to get the truth out. Our intention here is to get the facts on the table uh, so the people in the American uh, the American voters can understand exactly what happened during their election uh, and how false these allegations were and how absolute nonsense they were. One of the fascinating details in your lawsuit is that my pillow, you say, is using some of these QAnon terms uh, as sales codes for customers to, to dial in and buy their my pillows using terms like QAnon. Are you alleging here that QAnon is sort of at the core of the my pillow? business strategy overall, or was this just kind of a fringe thing that they were doing on the side of the, of the overall business? The codes in particular are a great example of just how reckless uh, Mr. Lindell was uh, in his peddling of disinformation and, and, the, and the falsities. Um, depending on the program he was on, uh, he would offer different promo codes um, to uh, lure voters uh, to his website uh, for the ultimate goal of making money. John, I've got to let you go here, but last question for you. Is this the last lawsuit we're going to see from you, or are there other people in your sites here? Uh, this is definitely not the last lawsuit. Uh, as I've said many times before, we are taking a very measured evidence-based approach uh, as to what we file next, um, but, and we are not ruling anyone out. Fox News on your list? We are not ruling anybody out. Okay. John Polis, thanks so much for joining us. Wilford, I'll toss it back over to you at headquarters. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.